Welcome to the hottest entertainment blog on the internet today, The A-List. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Troop. Hey peeps, did you hear who got married this past week? No, it wasn't me and Tink, although, think about it, girl. Anyway, this week, Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds got married. Wow, really? Weren't you just married Ryan Reynolds to one of the hottest mamas out there? Anyway, Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds got married. Big secret. Not even the A-list knew about it, peeps. So, you know, it had to be big. Oh, guys out there, that brings up the question. Who'd you rather, Scarlett Johansson or Blake Lively? Post it, tweet it, like it, whatever. Let me know your answer. And girls, you can join in this too. I mean, who'd you rather go shopping with? I don't know. Anyway, so let's get right into the meat of the bones doesn't make any sense. All right, so let's do it. Fanboys are us. And this time I'm going to play the Aquaga Swack. I guess this is a... All right, so... All right. First up in fanboys news, ladies and gentlemen. Major rumors have been swirling, just like this, around about Thor 2, The Dark World, that a major character will bite the dust. And, uh, spoiler, um, word is going that it's going to be Odin. That would sort of make sense. I assume he's the oldest, obviously. Uh, <laughs> he comes back to life anyway later on in the comics, but what not. Um, I also wouldn't be surprised if Jane Foster bites the dust, because they have more women around. Anyway, and spoiler alert. On to The Avengers 2, another movie I'm thrilled that this is... Uh, in an interview this week, Gwyneth Paltrow says she thinks she, maybe she's too old to be in Avengers 2 to play Pepper Potts again. I mean, she's in Iron Man 3. If this makes you feel any better, Gwyneth, I'd tap it. A big star is reported to be returning for Pirates of the Caribbean 5. Will Turner, or Orlando Bloom, obviously, who plays him, uh, might be returning. I thought you said big star. Don't waste my time. Unneeded sequels news, probably. Uh, sequels have been announced for The Bourne Legacy. Bring back Julia Stiles, you bastards. And Ted has been slated to have a sequel. That might be interesting, although I don't know how far you can really go with that. Uh... So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see when they come out, I guess. Use May 2014, a new Godzilla movie will be coming out. Oh, boy. Another reboot. Well, hopefully it's better than the Matthew Broderick thing. And uh, just, I, I, the one part I liked out of Godzilla 2000, like crap through a goose. All right, now it's time to take out this crap. It's time for me to make my box office prediction. The B O P. Yeah, rush that for nothing. Anyway, last week I said that the number one movie would be The Possession, and it was making me. Boo -boo. Yeah, little sound effects tonight. Little golf clap. So, the streak continues, but of course, and I say this week that the number one movie, what do you got? You got Finding Nemo 3D coming out, re-released. Check for my review on that one with my special guest, by the way. And of course, Resident Evil Retribution. Hoping to have that review up on Monday. I think Resident Evil Retribution will do it and be the number one movie at the box office. brings us to this week's Babe of the Week. Oh yeah. How you doing? Alright. So, this week I'm going to give it to one of the ladies from Resident Evil Retribution. Oh yeah. 
the best nips around, ladies and gentlemen, Mila Jovovich. Well, peeps, that's all the time we've got for this week. So until next time, don't miss one single A-list second. You can subscribe to me right here on YouTube. Check out some of my other videos. You can like me on Facebook. Follow me on the Twitter. Check out all my movie reviews at RottenTomatoes.com. We've got one week left till my vacation. Uh, I know how much you'll all miss me, but, you know, this guy's got to take a break. Anyway, so, until next time, truth. Uh,